What's up, kids? What's up, kids? What's going on with everybody today? How are you out there in YouTube land? Well, today I have a little bit of a rant. But before I get into that, I, well, I can't show you this because my computer's doing stuff. But you'll see here I'm in the garage. The garage is a mess because I'm packing up stuff, getting ready to move on to my boat. That's right. I said my boat. Ha, ha, ha. Anyhow. Trying to get things organized and cleaned up and ready to get on the boat. Uh, our schedule, I guess, as we understand it for now. Tomorrow, I finish cleaning up the boat, and I got to caulk a uh, 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 through hole um, where the transducer mounts, uh, and then make sure all the, the valves are shut off. So I'm going to work on that tomorrow. Uh, and then tomorrow afternoon, I believe we're going to splash the boat. We're going to get wet. Um, well, the boat is, hopefully. Hopefully I won't get wet. Hopefully the boat will get wet. Uh, anyhow, so we're going to splash the boat. Then on, um, what's that, Thursday. So then Friday, I'll be getting more stuff moved onto the boat, uh, loading it up and finishing the installation of the head, which is just going to be a plywood box with a bucket in it for the time being. Sort of a floating outhouse, if you will. Uh, which is fine, you know, eight years up in Alaska, I live with an outhouse for eight years, I can continue doing it on my boat, so at least uh, this way I can just dump it over the side or whatever I decide to throw it out in garbage cans or whatever, uh, fertilize the little fishies. Anyhow, so uh, that'll be on uh, Friday and then uh, Saturday, I'm making uh, my last trip up there with the rest of my stuff, getting it onto the boat and finishing organizing that and uh, then Sunday, Rhonda's going to drive me up to the boat and drop me off. Uh, I got to stop and finish paying for the boat and uh, pick up some provisions. A couple other stops we have to make to pick up some last minute things, the camp stove and the generator and a couple things. Uh, hopefully, Rhonda will be able to fit all of that in her little vehicle. Um, she's got an SUV, so it should be all right. And uh, then I'll be on board and I'll be on board from then on. So. It should work out fairly well. The only uh, hiccup that I'm worried about that popped up today is the guy buying my truck, um, you know, had some, I don't know, worries or concerns or whatever, and um, he wants to make sure he gets the truck title as quickly as possible. Well, the truck title has to go through Alaska, so I need to mail it up there with the signature on it, and then it comes back, and then he can do whatever he wants with it, but it's got to go up to Alaska and back uh, to do the lien release on it, so... It is what it is. Anyhow, bit of a rant, I said. Yes, I'm working on the boat. And on the boat, um, in the head, as you go into the V-berth, there's a hatch that opens up. There's a, 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 a lidded, you know, hatch that opens up that lets fresh air and sunshine and stuff in up in the front of the boat. It, the, it's a like a sunroof that opens up, for those of you who aren't uh, boat savvy. And on the front of it, you know, there's there's a hinge on the back. There's two arms on the side that kind of support it when it's open or closed. You can adjust it and set it for different, you know, infinite degrees of openness. Uh, but then there's two little latches that mount on the front that when it comes down, you hook them in and you turn them, tighten it down. So you can, you, they're battens, basically. You can batten down the hatches and secure it so that if you have breaking waves come over the bow, they don't splash in and then come into the boat. Okay. These little battens are, and I'm going to be a little offensive here. I'm going to use this finger because they're that wide, about a half inch wide. Now, that's about three inches. They're only about half of that, about an inch and a half. So they're, they're this big and that wide. And I'm using this finger for West Marine because they're 70 bucks a piece. Seriously. Two little here, I'll show you what they look like, okay? There you go. That's what they look like, okay? That whole thing is an inch, inch and a half by five-eighths, guys. That's the size of it. Inch and a half by five-eighths. Oh, uh, okay. Get that later. Uh, inch and a half by five-eighths, and it's made out of brass, and it's chrome-plated. $70 a piece. Now, guys... There's just no reason those need to be $70 a piece. Uh, you know, I buy a lot of hardware for use in homes and what have you. 
It seems like as soon as you take anything that you can buy at a regular hardware store for 20 cents and put it on a boat, it goes to $20. Okay, these things shouldn't be 70. They're chrome. They've got a lot of components. They're waterproof. They're marine grade. I understand all that. Okay, 29, 30 bucks maybe each. Still 70 bucks for hatch would be a lot. This is $140 for two of them. $140 for these two little hatches so I can secure my hatch. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. But that is what the going price is. That's about what they are. Now, I did find something else I thought was pretty neat, pretty interesting. And I wanted to kind of show that to you guys so you could take a look at it. Um, I'm a great big guy. <clears throat> and I needed some way of being able to get back onto the boat. I need a boat ladder. I need a, a stout, a very stout boat ladder. Well, the stern design on the cow is... Uh, is that just a slight angle, like, like you know, instead of being straight up and down, it's just kind of kind of like that, just very slight, you know, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine degree angle, maybe, you know, something like that. And at the top in the center uh, where it comes up to to the deck, the the material is about an inch thick and it's just pretty much solid fiberglass, about an inch thick there. Uh, and that runs down the back of the boat. Uh, on both sides, it's fared up, and then there's access to compartments. But right in the middle, there's an area about 22 inches wide that narrows down to about 18 and a half inches wide at the bottom, uh, where it's all the same inch thick material. And at the bottom of that, there's a drain hole so that the cockpit drains out should you know a wave break over to the side. So there's a really good solid mounting surface on the back of the boat. Uh, and there is no boarding ladder. There, there's a little cheap flimsy one that kind of hooks to the side and drops in. You know, it, 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 it'd be fine for normal sized people, but it's certainly not going to get me up and down the back of the boat. Um, and so I've been looking for something. And I was going to hire a welder. I was going to think, well, I could get a welder and have some guy weld me up something. And I started playing around with some ideas for designs and stuff. And then I got on to... Um, Oh, I lifted up this heavy. How's this for a boat? This is a catalog, by the way, guys, from Marine Discounters. Marine Discounters there in Sandusky, Ohio. Look how thick this catalog is. Thing weighs like 10 pounds, 15 pounds. I use it for a boat anchor. Anyhow, I was flipping through their catalog, and in the catalog, I was looking at boat uh, ladders, and then they also had dock ladders. Which you would, you know, you bolt onto the back of it to a dock or something. Well, they have one. I'm going to show this to you because I thought it was pretty neat. Okay. They have one. Here we go. That is adjustable. Okay. It's a lifting ladder. So this part here would attach to the back of the boat. This would hook over the top. And I would put some boards in to support this and offset it. So this is only going to stick into the boat about three inches, maybe four inches. And then the boat rim would mount about here. And then there'd be a couple boards built up to support this. And then, of course, on the inside, there'd be a backing plate on the inside of the fiberglass. So this is pretty much going to have a solid surface to sit on then on the back of the boat that I could make quite square and neat. And then I would run two bolts, like, you know, one about here and one about there to bolt this part on. And then this piece, it, the, the steps, um, as you can see, this, this then can be adjusted. This is a five-step version. I'm looking at the seven-step version, which would be two more steps even lower than this one. But you see, it raises all the way up so that the bottom of the steps are flush with this area which would be up out of the water, and yet then you can lift it up. It, it actually hooks onto a rung here and to a rung here. You can lift that up and then drop it down. So it hooks, instead of hooking the rung here and the rung here, it hooks the rung here and here, or in the middle as this one's shown. It drops it down further, um, and that would get, you know, th if this was the water level, this one would be two rungs in the water level. The seven step would be four rungs in the water level or, or, or two more steps actually 
uh, in the water level, um, which would make it really easy for me to get up and down. The thing is uh, 22 inches wide, so it would work perfectly inside that opening that I have. Again, I'm going to put some blocking across sideways here to support it. So even though this is a little bit wider at the bottom than the opening that I have in the boat, the board that I go across the side with here, um, I can bolt it here, here to the ladder, and then go inside that to 18 and a half inches apart to bring it through into the uh, boat. And then, of course, that would go into a backing plate there inside the boat. So I could make that really nice and secured with some, you know, grade five um, stainless bolts that would go through and hold that. Then, of course, I'd have stainless on aluminum. So I'm having dissimilar metal issues, whatever. I have to work through that with some gaskets or some NOAA locks or whatever. But what I found really nice about this from my standpoint was this is right here is what sold this to me. 665 pound capacity. 665 pounds. I could stay, I could have a party on that ladder. I could have me and a couple other people. Well, right now, me and another big person. I got two of me on there. So uh, pretty cool. I kind of like that. I thought it might be a decent idea. So uh, anyhow, that's a bit of my ramp. I have a big, you know, to, to West Marine, $70 for those two little hatches each, $70 each. That's just crazy. You know, it's ridiculous. This is why boating is so expensive. This is why all the things involved with yachts is so expensive. Because you have a little piece of hardware this big, I mean, literally this big, that costs 70 bucks. I mean, that just, that's insane. It doesn't need to be that expensive. Um, there's got to be somebody out there. I'm sure if I waited and I got, got down to Florida or someplace, I would find some, you know, place that has refurbished stuff, whatever. I could probably buy them for pennies on the dollar. But up here in Sandusky, Ohio, that's all they're got. So, and what I may decide to do, because on uh, the latches that I have up there now, one works and the other one doesn't. So it's really only one quarter that's sticking up. You know, I might be able to rig up some sort of a bungee strap or something like that temporarily to hold that down until I can get down to, you know, I know down in, in the Florida area, there's uh, a couple of guys that, you know, uh, strip boats apart and pull parts off of all kinds of different boats and replace them and refurbish them. And so they warehouse and they stock all these parts. And you can go to these places and you can get a really good deal on some stuff. So maybe I should just wait and watch and see there. I'll look on eBay. Uh, I know I've been in contact with some individuals on my channel that do a lot of sailboat uh, renovations and stuff. Maybe they have a couple of those parts around that uh, they might show me cheap or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm going to take my time and not just rush out and spend $140 on two latches. That's crazy. So that would, that would be on, on my little $2,000 sailboat, the term earrings on a pig comes to mind and I'm not going to spend $140 buying those two little fancy latches, um, to put on my sailboat. I'll wait until I can find some good used ones to put on there. So anyhow, that's my rant for today. I just wanted to get on there and, and let everybody know that, uh, I'm alive and well. We're packing everything up here in the garage, getting ready to head down to the boat. Uh, I will be back on the boat tomorrow. And um, well, actually, I'll be on the boat tomorrow, the next day, the next day. And then I'll be living on the boat starting on Sunday. Sunday, I move on the boat. So fun times, guys. Fun times. Anyhow, kids, we'll have more for you later. You be good and be careful. And we'll talk to you then. And please do take good care of one another. Thank you.